Hello everyone. To be straightforward, virology is a study of viruses. And considering the fact that everyone knows about the current corona pandemic initiated or start from China, the pandemic has touched a lot of lives and has ravaged the economy of the world. This is all because of the viral infection. From here you understand how dangerous viruses are. Virology is a study of viruses and we are going to explain the history of viruses. We will relate them with the invention of the fossil filter. Under evolutionary threat, we are going to relate them with the RNA world, the first universal ancestors and the last universal ancestors. We will descend down to the structure of viruses, where we will explain the acosahedral structure and the helical structure. And then we will touch individual characteristics of these viruses and relate them with the pathogenesis of individual viruses, there are ways through which we can diagnose them in the lab or in the hospital, the kind of antiviral drugs needed for the treatment of those viruses, and the prevention strategy. As you know, viruses are obligate intracellular parasites. They can survive in both inert and active way, and they have the genetic makeup to hijack the reproductive mechanism of their host cell. Most of them, they range between 20 nanometer to 30 nanometer, and the most significant part of their structure is uh, the nuclear acid covered by the... Tracing back the timeline for the history of virology, viruses themselves, their history start with the invention of the porcelain filter. The phosphorus filter is a filter used for the filtration of water. But then they don't know anything about viruses. The filter was mainly created to filter bacteria, fungi, and other relatively larger microorganisms. Charles Chamberlain in 1884 invented that filter. However, in 1886, Albert Meyer noticed that certain category of organism which you don't know they are infecting a uh, tobacco mosaic plant the extract from this tobacco mosaic plant despite filtration using the porcelain filter still the extract can infect other healthy tobacco mosaic plant however a russian scientist in 19 in 1892 noticed that those impenetrable particles are in fact viruses they are not bacteria, they are not fungi, and they are that small that they can pass through the porcelain filter. From there, we know that there are some certain entities which they are not bacteria, they are surviving, and they are infectious, and they are called viruses. Viruses are extremely diverse. They can infect almost all living organisms, and they can be found in almost all habitat. From the volcanic region to deep ocean, to land, to desert, to water, and the air. Many established literature have proven to be that there are so many thousands or millions of, vir of viruses in celestial bodies, like other planets. Examples of this category of virus are human virus. Human virus infect humans strictly most especially the one we know the HIV virus the hepatitis Ebola virus yellow fever virus and the emerging coronavirus second category is a category of viruses that infect the animals animal viruses can metamorphose or mutate to infect human beings, but they are animal viruses. They are initially animal viruses. The third category is the plant category. This category of uh, viruses infect plant strictly. They cause so many diseases which impair the production of food in the agricultural sector. As well, we have the bacterial virus Bacterial virus are very important in research and development because we can use bacterial virus 
to encode information that can cause the reengineering or transformation of microorganisms for better good. As well, other category of organisms like the protozoans, the algae, can they also have their own viruses, and they're extremely. Within three years, from 2019 to date, there are three most important viral outbreaks. This include the coronavirus, which is gradually changing due to mutation, followed by monkeypox virus and the Ebola virus. Coronavirus and monkeypox virus have a worldwide prevalence, whereas the monkeypox virus has a prevalence rate of 78,000 people with mortality rate of 0.04%. It can affect the male and the female, the old and the young, and it has a very short infectivity period, most usually between 0 to 5 days. Manifestation of symptoms start from 0 to 3 days, and these symptoms include headache, inflammation of the limb nodes, body pain, fever, then within 3 days to 5 days, manifestation of rashes and pulls. Differential diagnosis and treatment of uh, monkeypox virus are employable and progress we are met. The second emerging virus is Ebola hemorrhagic disease, which is caused by Ebola hemorrhagic virus. It is an RNA virus and it has a helical structure with so many capsules, as you can see from the picture. It is causing hemorrhagic disease where in much acute cases, blood will be flowing out throughout the body from the eyes to the pores of the skin and eventually death. In Congo, they currently recorded 38 confirmed cases, out of which 33 dead were dead. This shows that in every 40 people, there is a tendency that 32 can die, meaning the mortality rate is around 70%. It is a re-emerging virus because it has been there. It is just re-emerging now. The third is the coronavirus. Coronavirus was initially called SARS. Then later, it was uh, it mutated. It started infecting the Arabians or the Asians and they call it MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Later, the virus re in 2019, still in China, but with different symptoms, different infectivity, and different mortality. As of now, there are around 636 million cases worldwide, and 6 point something million confirmed dead, meaning there is around 1.2% mortality rate, and it keep going. There are so many vaccines, and we hope the virus can be eliminated with this shunt time.